Welcome back, beer lovers. You're seeing my beautiful face again, so that means we're doing craft beer cocktails. We're gonna make a beer version of a dark and stormy. So if you also wanna know why the rum's always gone, let's have some beer. Cocktails. All right guys, today we're gonna to be making a beer version of a dark and stormy. This particular one is based off of the Stormy Porter that was introduced via Founders Brewing Company. So whoever on Founders Brewing Team that uh, released the specs and idea for this cocktail, thank you, because this is exactly what I wanna do in my community. So Founders guy, thank you. Um, I would love to talk with you more because I think the world needs more of these, so thank you. Um, and as per Founders specs, we're going to be using uh, one line halved and quartered. We're going to be doing some ginger beer, Falernum. We're going to do two kinds of rums. I have an eight-year-old and a four-year-old. And we're going to be doing, of course, Founders Porter to top it with because it's their recipe. And thank you. <laughs> All right, so time to prep our lime. We're going to. Chop off the end bits, because we don't need those, just like you would with vegetables or anything else. You're going to flip it on the flat side, right in half, well, I'll just slide the last part. Right in half, we're going to just uh, cut it again into quarters. Um, I like to give it another slice, just because it's easier for me to work with, and I'm just used to doing that at my work. So, um, that's how I'm gonna do it. And we're gonna put half of that lime straight up into our tin, and then we're gonna muddle it. You do not have to have an official muddler, um, but I'm fancy, so that's what we do. <laughs> uh, but the point is you're basically just gonna smush the lime in the tin to extract all the juices and to release any of the oils and the skins and all of just its lime deliciousness into your drink. Cool, so we have that half lime incorporated in there. We are now going to do three quarters of Falernum. And you guys know um, I fucking love Falernum because I love tiki drinks. And I love rum. Rum, rum, rum. So I'm using Reed's Extra Ginger. Um, this is a lot of fucking ginger in a ginger beer. You do not have to use this one. Uh, Bundaberg is a really good one the bars like. I highly recommend it. But honestly, if you have a preferred ginger beer, use that one. Um, we're gonna use this one because we like that extra kick of ginger though. We're gonna add one ounce of this. Boom. All right, now here's where things get a little bit more customizable for you. I'm gonna do three quarters of a Denizen eight year rum. Um, this is really delicious and I fucking love it. It is a Jamaican rum, which tends to be a lot funkier than most rums. So we're gonna balance this out with the four year uh, Flor de Caña, which is a Spanish style rum, a lot similar to like Bacardi uh, in terms of how they make it. And we're gonna have three quarters of that as well. Um, originally, Founders called for one light rum and one dark rum. I'm using basically both two rage drums because I fucking love rum. <laughs> um, but honestly, Plantation does a really great uh, white rum. Definitely recommend basically anything the Plantation does. So now we're gonna add some ice, shake this up, and then put it in our glass. All right, add our ice, time to shake. That smells like rum, fuck yes. <laughs> All right, so we are actually gonna just dirty pour this right in the glass, get real dirty. Uh, that means you're not gonna strain it. Get those limes all lovely right up in there. And now it's time for the porter. Mm 
there we go. We have our dark and stormy with beer. Stormy Porter. A few moments later. All right, so that was probably one of the more dramatic uh, beer floats that we've done on this channel so far. Um, I was kind of into it. I thought it looked really cool. We don't really use dark beer for our uh, beer cocktails yet. Um, I can't wait to try this. I haven't actually tried it yet. So uh, we're both going to be experiencing this for the first time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I got to say, just from the looks of it, it looks disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> it looks really gross. It looks like swamp water. I'm not going to lie. Uh, if you guys check the founder's uh, Instagram page, right? Is that where that Yeah, it's on their Instagram page. If you check their Instagram page, they have a great photographer. They definitely like prepped everything, got everything right, looked beautiful. Ours maybe didn't look so pretty, but I can tell you right now, I've already kind of had a little whiff of this, and it smells magnificent. My guess is they probably poured a bit less porter than I did, um, so most of the drinks stayed that golden color. Um, I don't know, I kind of, we like beer in this channel. Yeah, what we like beer. Do, you know? so. um, <laughs> Anyways, uh, it. do we swirl it around or we just kind of drink it? Let's just drink it, yeah. Okay. Cheers. Cheers, guys. Whoa. Oh, baby. Oh, that's so good. <laughs> mm. Wow. I... <laughs> I don't know if I would have normally paired a really chocolatey porter with lime. Um, it works. <laughs> oh, man. How do I describe this? So first off, the the lime citrus like is so necessary in this beer. I can't explain mm -hmm. it any other way. Actually, every component is necessary in this beer. Don't skimp. If you're gonna make this cocktail, get every ingredient. Uh, but I love the lime. It kicks in with that porter, which has got that chocolatey, roasty, toasty, like smoky kind of vibe. And then all of a sudden, like you get the kick in from the uh, from the rum. And because Jacob mixed two different kinds of rum, you're also getting complexities from the rum, which is dope. You get like some fruity, really oaky vibes from one of the rums. The other one, you're getting like just like strong rum flavor out of it and then the ginger beer is in there to kind of create a little bit of fizziness a little effervescence that really makes it just that much easier to drink oh this is a home run for me i i'll drink this every day i just won't make it myself every day but i'll, I'll drink it if you want to come over you want to make it i'll drink it you know maybe um oh. i founders dude Whoever you are, I would really love to pick your brain. Fuck. I feel like we got to make some cocktails together because this was delicious. Um, I know this isn't exactly your recipe. You actually did, uh, uh, if you go on that founder's post, there's an additional rum that I didn't put in, which is an overproof rum. And that's basically, uh, I didn't put it in because uh, this is not our first drink of the night. Uh, also, I didn't want to kill Jeff with uh, a 151. So, <laughs> you know, um, you won't kill me. You'll just make me very, very hammered. <laughs> <laughs> so I had that in mind. Um, so I did remove a rum and I honestly think it's perfectly fine without it. No, it's beautiful. And I probably were, we were a little bit heavy handed with a porter, but I, I really like the way that porter and the lime and rum just interact together. Mm -hmm. They do some really fun stuff. Um, I would not have thought to do this myself. Even though I'm very familiar with the Dark and Stormy, um, the way <laughs> Dark and Stormy is basically just get black from a black rum. There's no real porter flavors at all in black rum. There is no crossover whatsoever, yeah, in my opinion. Nope. Um, so the fact mm. that this works, to me, uh, is eye-opening. I don't know. This is one of those drinks where I'm drinking it, and I'm like, I feel like I need to do... So much more than I already do. Like, this is just, I got to get on this level. <laughs> it, it's an its an intense drink, guys. Um, wow. This is now what? Beer cocktail number four or five that you've done? I think four. I think oh, it's four. four. Uh, out of all the beer cocktails Jacob has done so far, this is by far my favorite. 
and kudos to again <laughs> yeah again the whole reason behind us doing these craft beer cocktails is jacob loves cocktails and he loves beer and i just love beer <laughs> this is the first cocktail i've had in a long time well a long long time where i can sit there and say damn if i went to any bar and they could make this for me 100 percent ordering it no doubt in my mind uh, it's, it's that good. It's that good. All right. There you have it. Um, I know a couple of these ingredients might not be, um, as easy for your average home bar to have. Falernum isn't always in the average home bar. Um, you don't always have two different kinds of rums. You could use spiced rum in this, but I would caution away from that. Yeah. I don't know just, if I would like spicy in this. Yeah. I would just say get a light rum and a dark rum or even two dark rums the way we did. It works great, uh, but if you do happen to have those things and some limes, I mean, it's, it's really damn tasty. I don't know. <laughs> um, nothing has ever felt like more of a pirate drink, but also a craft beer drink <laughs> than this. Yes, that's a beautiful way to put it. Absolutely. So there you have it, guys. That is our review of the Stormy Porter uh, as posted by Founders. Thanks again, Founders, for... Yeah. Uh, for sharing that recipe with the people because damn, Jacob did a really good job of recreating it. it tastes amazing. I really want to recommend anybody out there who maybe is stuck on craft beer, doesn't want to venture out because they're happy in that lane. I'm telling you guys, just try, just try this. Promise you, try it, you'll be happy. So if you guys enjoyed this episode, please give us a thumbs up, share with your friends. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. We appreciate the support and it encourages us to make more episodes like this one. Yep. Uh, so until next time, I'm Jeff. And I'm Jacob. And we'll see you again on Let's, Let's Have, Have Some Beer. Beer. Cheers. Today, we got another blind tasting, which is probably one of my favorite things to do. And I'm so glad that we get to do another one. This is going to be a blind tasting of Crispy Boys, specifically Pilsners.